holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more those of his household. Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What do you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both the soul and the body in Gehenna. Are not the two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my, my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My words of the Gospel by the Lord Jesus Christ. What does fear have to do with the kingdom of God? Fear, as you know, is a very powerful force. It has the power to lead us to panic and flight. It has also the power to lead us to faith and in action. The fear of God is the antidote for the fear of losing one's life. So what is this fear of God or godly fear? It is the reverence for the one who has made us in his own image and likeness. The one who has redeemed us out of love from our sinful life. The one who sustains us in his mercy. So, the fear of God is the antidote for fear of losing one's life. The religious authorities often criticized Jesus and rejected him even after seeing so many miracles, signs, which Jesus performed. They accused Jesus when he did the signs of miracles. They said, he is healing those people or doing miracles with the, prince of, with the power of the prince of demons, Beelzebul. They rejected Jesus because of their hatred and the prejudice. They refused to accept him as the Messiah, as the anointed one of God. Yet, in spite of all those objections from the religious leaders, Jesus continued his teaching and preaching and healing ministry. He healed those who were variously afflicted with the diseases and gave sight to the blind, gift of speech, to the um, dumb, the gift of hearing to the deaf, and even raised those who were dead 
and freed those who were possessed by evil spirits. So all this Jesus did as a sign of God's favor upon his people that God has sent his beloved son Jesus Christ into this world as their anointed king, as their messiah. Yet the religious leaders rejected him because of their hatred and prejudice. They refused to accept him because if, if they accepted Jesus' miracles, then they should definitely, they will be forced to accept Jesus as their Messiah, as their anointed king. But they did not want because of their prejudice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before him and ask for his blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious, and laity, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to his teachings faithfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and the members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intentions of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for Stanley Cadet Asim and also for the health and healing of healing for Elizabeth Schwab, Michael Gia Kobe, and Nancy Bailey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Watch me, Lord, from my iniquity. Test me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always set everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, 
whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with the one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis, our Pope, Blay Supit, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Stanley Cadet Asim whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, 
As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in heaven and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and the blood of the Holy Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to save it. May the receiving of your body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ not bring you to judgment and the condemnation, but to your loving mercy. Before me, protect in mind and body and healing from me. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, nor permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion song. Come to me, all you, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. <clears throat>
fail. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the price of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, and God bless you, and have a wonderful weekend.